Hello students, welcome back. In this video, we will be evaluating prefix uh, expression. So we will uh, evaluate prefix expressions. Uh, let's take up an example. Uh, again, I'll do two ways of evaluating prefix expression. Um, expression I'm going to take here is five, three, four. Carrot is power. So uh, let's uh, evaluate prefix. Uh, for prefix, we understand we have an operator first and then the operands. So uh, I'm going to look for that. I have operator, operator, operand, operator, operator, operand, operand. So whenever you see this combination, um, where you have, where you have, uh, so um, I have a operator and two operands, so it's plus five three. So I'm going to add those together. Uh, what I'll have is now, um, what I will have is now is minus minus three times that becomes a eight four power the six two two. Now again, I'm going to go with the same process. My operator, operator, operand, operator operand operand whenever you see two of those like this right after the operator you see two operand you perform the operation so that'll give me minus minus three eight times four is a 32 understand 32 is a one number here um power divide six two two uh we'll continue doing that operator operator operand operand so uh, we can do this math here again so uh, now one things I'll combine are these. So three minus 32 is a negative 29. So we gotta remember that minus, there's a minus that there's a negative. I'm gonna write this way, negative 29. There's a power, this is six, two, two. Um, again, so understand negative 29 is one number. I have a, operator i have a operand operator operator operand operand since i have two operands after the operator over here so i'll be six divided by two that will make it a three so now i have a negative there's a, there's a minus negative 29 to the power that gives me a three and a two uh, same process i'm going to repeat now my operator operand operator operand operand so three and two will combine that's three to the power two so that will give me a nine so minus that's a negative 29 and that gives me a nine there so what does this mean now i have an operator operand operand so i'm going to combine these um so that'll be negative 29 minus 9, and that is a negative 38. And that will be your answer in this case. So that's good. Um, I'll quickly do one more way of doing the same question. Uh, so I'll write my question number one one more time, and, and I'll do it another, another method of doing that. Um, I like both methods. This one is the I think is a little longer. It depends upon which one you like. You can choose that one. So um, I'll write my question again. So it's a negative negative three times plus five three five three four. This divided by six two two. Um, now what I'm gonna write is I'm gonna write the whole thing as a column. So minus minus three times two um no it was times plus this is not a two times plus five three four power divided by six and the two and the two um so understand this one is given to me in prefix so i'm looking for operator and two operands so i'm looking for a symbol and uh, numbers like that so whenever i see that i'll convert that so uh, let's see uh, how we go through this one so we have uh, operator operator operand 
operator, operator, operand, operand. So I'm going to combine these. When I combine these, it's plus 3, 5, so that becomes a 8. I start again. Operator, operator, operand. Operator, operand. I have an operand here, notice. I have another operand here. So what does that mean? I can combine these. And now this is 8 times 4, so this value becomes a 32. Let me do that again. Now I have an operator, operator, operand I have here. I have another operand. So whenever operator is followed by two operands, you combine them. So this time operator is a negative one. My operands are 3 and 32, so 3 minus 32 is a negative 29. I'm going to put my negative in parentheses like before so we understand that. I have my operator. I have a operand. I have an operator. So I continue. I'm going to put that sign right over here. So uh, I have another operator. I have an operand. I have an operand. So this will combine here. So that will be 6 divided by 2. I will get a 3. So um, I'm going to look at my signs again. I have an operator. I have an operand. I have an operator here again. I have an operand. So you see, I don't have two operands together yet, but now I do. Down over here, I have a 3 to the power 2. This was my operand here. Operator, operand, operand. So... Uh, Carrot 3 to 3 to the power 2 and that will give me a 9 here. Uh, that will, uh, I'll try to keep it the same color so we understand. Uh, that will give me a 9. I'm going to go back up over here. So now if you look at that, I have uh, operator in minus. I have an uh, operand in 29. I have an uh, operand in 9. So this all can be combined in 1. So that will become negative 29 minus 9 and that will be a negative 38 and that's my answer i don't know if you notice or not the second was a little quicker compared to the other one um, again you can choose uh, either one thank you for watching